Yo, what's blasting beans, guys? Prevised here. So today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make a moving model. So some of you guys might know about this tutorial, how to script a moving model. Uh, in this tutorial, uh, <clears throat> I taught the function translate by, and it. I don't like the way of doing it. It's just kind of weird. Um, there's a better way of going about this. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to do it the better way. So what we need to do is create a model. So I'm going to create. Uh, all right, this is gonna look very. It's gonna look very very ugly, but I'm going to create a very simple airplane. All right. Never mind. No, I'm not. She's going to make a very stupid looking model. Okay. Uh, now what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm just going to make a center point or just a point anywhere. Just uh, in your model, maybe if you have like a, a car model or something, you just want to just move it. I mean, it's not, it's not really scripting a car. You can't really make a car drive or anything. It's just maybe if you just want this car to just move by, you know, just by itself. Uh, what you would need to do is just make a part, okay, anywhere's inside your model. It does not matter. It could be at the bottom, uh, the top. Just make sure it, I would recommend putting it like in the middle or wherever. All right, name that part called main, uh, main part, okay. <clears throat> then you're going to want to select your whole model, control G to group, all right. If you don't, if you don't, can't, if you can't do control G, right click and press group alright and just uh... I'm not gonna name it or anything it doesn't really matter alright so that main part I'll change the transparency to one now check this out so you click on the model okay there's a primary part property you wanna click on that press on main part there sets the primary part now right click insert object script alright going to zoom in now local main part equals script dot parent dot main part alright so what's script well script is basically the script you are inside uh, what's parent parent is the model it's kinda like a hierarchy so script dot parent dot main part and it gets the main part okay alright now um, actually no we're not gonna uh, do that we're going to do local model e model equals script dot parent alright parent alright we're going to do model set alright this is a function called set primary part c frame alright so basically what this does it's gonna get model okay which is this uh, even if your name was like a thingy alright thingy um, you could just just I would recommend changing your variable name to the same name as your model but it does not matter but whatever you change for your variable you change here okay so thingy set primary part C frame so basically it's going to get your model it's gonna get the primary part the primary part so set the primary part which is this C frame so we wanna set the primary part C frame so every part now a model doesn't have a property called I mean not a property doesn't have anything called C frame, but parts do. Parts and unions, they have something called C frame. Um, so, what we're going to do is uh, inside this, um, the, the parentheses, we're going to do thingy colon get primary, primary part C frame. Make sure the spelling's right, also, guys. Alright, make sure you have the parentheses right there. Alright. Then we're gonna do um, so. We're setting the C frame to itself right here, pretty much, because we're getting the pri. Oh, I spelled primary wrong. Primary part C frame. So we're getting the C frame and we're setting the C frame to itself. So it could, so it's gonna stay still, but we want it to move. So to make it move, what we're going to do is for i, for i equals zero to one. So zero is gonna be our start point. One's gonna be our end point, and then. Pretty much all you're going to want to do is change the increment. Pretty much the third value right here is going to be the increment. Increment. So how much it's going to move by. All right. 
So if you're wondering how I kind of tab that, pretty much you just press the tab key on your keyboard. So I wouldn't do I wouldn't use spaces either. All right. So we're going to set the C frame. All right. Then right here what we're going to do is times C frame dot new. Right here we're going to put our um the value so just put three zeros alright so if you put the I right here um let's see what I'm going to do uh let's see I want to see what the front surface is so the front surface is over here <coughs> alright um let me go to view display access axis so main part so it's going negative z so this is x this is y this is z so if you wanted to go to the tour okay so how i'm facing i'm facing okay just let's just restart say we wanted i want the thing the model to move this way in this direction okay over here which is like in front right here okay so the right of me now if I wanted to move that way, what we, we what we would do is take go press on your main part and then click on front surface and you should see it highlight on the part. As you can see, it's facing my direction that I want it to go. Uh, if it's not, you can you know you could just if it's like this, you could just rotate it to be like that. All right, all right. Um, now, also go to the view tab and press on display axis. So how this works is the Y, the green is the Y, which is up and down. The X, as you can see, if I rotate, the X is gonna be like a uh, from my camera and behind me, from the camera that it's like my camera, and then behind me is gonna be positive, uh, but in front of me is all negative. The Z on the left side it's all positive, on the right side it's negative. That's kind of confusing. Uh, in algebra or maybe math, you should have learned something like that, like a, on a graph, you know, positive. Uh, negatives and stuff like that. Anyways, for I equals uh, do, I think it is. For I do. Yeah, it's do. It's not then. I don't know why I put then. Sorry about that. Um, so, yeah. Alright. So, anyways, we want it to go to the, the right, you know? So, pretty much look at your axis thing. So, left is positive for the Z. But I want it to go right, so we're going to have to go negative. So what we're going to have to do, change this to zero. So how this works is, this is X, this is Y, this is Z. So if I want to go Z, let's change this to I. Put I here. So I is going to equal to this. All right, now I'm going to run and see what happens. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I forgot to put the weight because we, we want to wait. Um, if we don't have a weight, the code is going to run like really fast. Alright, we need to anchor all these parts. Forgot to let you guys know. As you can see, it is moving. Oh, but it's moving the wrong direction. Okay, that's why I had said negative. So you're going to keep th these positive, these numbers positive, but you change, the, you change this to a negative I. That, that's just for me because I want it to go in the negative, you know, to the right. So that's negative. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to run this. Man, this was a pretty short script, but a pretty long tutorial. But that's basically it. Now, if you just wanted to keep running and not stop, because eventually, all right, like if I change this to a lo lower number, it's gonna it's gonna move even faster, and it's gonna eventually stop. But if you wanted to keep on moving, like nonstop, you would do while wait do. Uh, and you. Do um, actually, you could actually just you can um, let's see. All right, I know I'm doing something stupid right now, but I'm just testing right now. I'm just testing. Uh, so we could do zero 
um, but then we would just add point 0.1 but that's gonna go to the left because you know we're doing positive but if I wanted to go to the right side like I've been wanting do plus negative point 0.1 yeah. that's basically it guys so this while loop is just gonna keep running you know so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed please drop a like and subscribe